Hi everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight we are doing Little Maddie. Beautiful Little Maddie. And see what messages come through. She wasn't ready the other night. So, actually, I'll split the cards. Give it a big shuffle. I'm using two decks again tonight. Using the Witch's Tarot and the Arcanum again. And let's see what sort of messages beautiful little Maddie Mogan can give us tonight. Okay, Maddie, let's get straight into it tonight. I have done the meditation. I have cleared the space. I have cleansed the cards. Dear little Maddie, what messages do you have for us tonight, please, sweetheart? Okay, we have, I don't know whether you can see them. Hope you can see them okay. We have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Well, we have the Seven of Swords and the Fool. There was some sort of information that she had, that she knew. She actually found out something very important that she wanted to communicate and tell, and tell the truth to somebody that she trusted. But they deceived her. She's saying that she was a fool. We have the high priest, the tower, the shadow side, which is the devil, the nine of swords, the three of cups. So she knew some information that she communicated with somebody that she told the truth to. Somebody she trusted, but they deceived her. She's saying that she was a fool. To believe that she could bring down the tower of the devil. The Nine of Swords and Three. She's feeling guilty for the three others. The death. Oh, my God. 
she's feeling guilty for the three others' deaths. She's saying she was a fool, a fool to trust this person or the person that she told, she's, she was a fool to tell them the truth about something, about the information that she knew. And a fool to believe that she could bring down the devil and she is feeling guilty for her friend's death. Oh, sweetheart. She only wanted to do the right thing here. There was something that she knew about and that she communicated about. And she wanted to bring out the truth. Bring out the truth and it's on top of the devil. She wanted to bring out the truth about the devil and the towers on top of her, uh, underneath the communication card. The communication caused the tower. And the Hierophant is pointing up to the Page of Swords, which is the information. So it's the information, the communication of the information that brought down the tower about the truth, about the devil. But somebody did deceive her here. Total deception. A liar steal a cheat. Somebody she really did trust and they've let her down. They've caused these, this nightmare. Whoever she was deceived by. She's feeling a fool out of her friends. She's feeling like it was her fault. Guilty, worry, guilt, worry over her friend's deaths. The truth causing the tower, causing the death. conversation about the devil deceived okay give me more sweetheart four of swords well, yes, this usually does depict the Four of Swords, but the Four of Swords, well, in these reads, normally symbolise the four victims, but the Four of Swords also means resting, sleeping. So communication, the tower, causing the tower and death of the four. King of Swords, Four of Swords. King of Swords is the, the K-I-L-L-E-R, the perpetrator here in these reads, right under the devil. Because she spoke the truth about the devil. He's come in. And he's facing the four, the four of swords. He's facing them.
the Knight of Swords. He come in quick. Okay, she might, this may be when she's saying she's sleeping. She was sleeping and the killer come in quick. Under the Nine of Swords, sleeping, fast action, the temperance in reverse, no time, time taking away, taken away from her friends, feeling like the fool because she's taken away time from her friends. I will have to move these up. I've tried to adjust it so that you can see all the cards here. I don't have to move it out of view. Okay, so let all right, so let me get this straight. Please, Maddie. There was information that you knew or found out about that you communicated with. You told what you knew. You told the truth to somebody that deceived you. But you trusted them. That's why you feel deceived. You feel like a fool because you believe you were able to bring down the devil, you're feeling guilty because your friends died. Sweetheart, know that this is not your fault. I know whatever you were trying to do here, you were trying to do the right thing, a good thing. The devil the worries friends. Could she have actually already lost a friend? And this is the reason why she was trying to bring down the devil? May one of her friends already died? This could be who the fool is. A young person starting out in life. A friend. This is what might have sparked the whole thing. She's found out, she has found out that one of her friends had died because of these drugs, I think. And this is why she wanted to bring down the devil. But then she lost three more, three more friends. So then there was four lost, four of her friends lost. To a killer. So she may have been trying to bring down this establishment, this drug, these drug rings, because one of her friends had already died. She may have found out the information about what had happened. She had a belief about a death. Okay, give me more please, Maddie. The Nine of Wands. The High Priestess, the Strength, the Six of Wands in Reverse, the Five of Swords. Do 
Just give me a minute, please. I just got chills. I just got chills. So, as I said, this card can have many meanings. So, if this is saying that she was sleeping, the killers come in quickly, she didn't have the time to defend herself. But it could also mean the death of the four with the killer happened fast, happened quick. And there was no time for any of them to defend themselves. The High Priestess. Now, usually this is Bethany in these readings. But because it's next to the strength, it's making me believe that she's saying... She should have kept her mouth shut. She should have kept quiet because she failed. And it was a fight to the death. They overpowered her. She didn't know what she was She didn't know what she was up against. She didn't believe that it would turn to a fight to the death. She really trusted this person that deceived her. Okay, I've got to try to move them up a bit more. I'm sorry, some are going to have to go out of view so that I can... Fight to the death. Okay, give me some more, please. We have the hermit, the moon, judgment, the ace of swords. One more, please. Just one more card. Maddie, one more card. Justice. Oh boy. Just give me a second, please. If this is Bethany, and the moon's underneath her. She is hiding something here that she's not talking about. She's keeping her mouth shut. So she was, so Maddie's saying she was unsuccessful. It was a fight to the death. Because there was no time. It was too quick. The Hermit is the home card. But it's also a, a guidance card. Guiding. Guiding through. Guiding, guiding through the unseen. Guiding, guiding through... Things that are hidden in the afterlife for truth and justice. I believe that she's trying to say that she's working on it. She's still working on it from her side to make sure that justice it does prevail here. That all the truth is told. Guiding through... The hidden, what they don't know, the unknown, guiding through the unknown in the afterlife for truth and justice.
<sighs> okay. There's so many angles you can take this from as well. Whatever card touches whatever card. I could go on all night here. See here, if that's Bethany. Bethany was home. Hiding. Maybe she was hiding. Or knows something she's not saying. Bethany's keeping her mouth shut, setting herself free from all the I'm getting I'm picking up energies of pains in the chest, yeah. And if you go down this way, death. The four. Home, protecting themselves, couldn't protect themselves. It all happened way too fast. Like that, I'm hearing like that. No time. Time taken away from all of them. Their youth, their youth has been taken away from them. She was unsuccessful. She's saying she should have kept her mouth shut about what she knew. She shouldn't have spoken. She should have kept her mouth shut. Unsuccessful. It was a fight to the death. She's blaming herself here. Oh, sweetheart, it's not your fault. No one would ever think that it would, whatever you were trying to do here would turn to a fight to the death. And I do believe that the, that what you were trying to get out, what truth you were trying to get out before you died is what you're working on. It, it's what you're still working on now in the afterlife. But it's still hidden at the moment, isn't it? And you're going to lead them to what you were trying to get out. So that you haven't died in vain. None of you have died in vain. You will guide them to what's hidden for truth and justice. Okay, let's see if she has any other messages here. I'll use the Akana, the Arcanum, sorry. I'll have to move them out the way. Sorry for those that um, don't like them going out of view, but... I do try to have focus on... The whole spread, I have my little shuffling space, I have the blank canvas for the spread and I'm afraid that's the best I can do. <laughs> it's 
So give me 10 cards, please, beautiful little Maddie. Is that bright enough? Now I'm going to move the light, so this won't be... I'm just trying to make it brighter so you can see them. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. Ten cards, darling. The King of Swords. The Five of Cups. The Emperor. The Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Hierophant, two more please, the Two of Cups, and the Judgment. Okay, just give me a second to work out who this is for. It's for her father, for her dad. So from this part, I speak as if it was Maddie saying this, saying her message to her father. I see you're ill. I see you're sick. I see you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken, you're sick, and you're very angry. I see you grieving, Dad. I'm worried about your health. You need to be strong. You need to fight this anger. Know that all is not lost. I love you very much. I am happy and I am safe. I cherish every moment and every memory that we share together. Please believe that we will connect again in the afterlife. Do you have any more to say, Maddie? I'm getting a no, actually. <sighs> Beautiful little Maddie, please. Do not blame yourself for what has happened here. I know you're working hard in the afterlife to try to finish off what you started before your demise. Know that there is a lot of people on your side here, beautiful girl. And no one blames you for anything. We have faith and we know that what you were trying to do was for a good cause. And we do believe that you will guide them in the right direction 
for the truth and justice that you wanted to bring. And I pray that I pray that the message that you wanted for your father was accurate. And the candle starting to flicker fast. Rest in peace, Maddie. I'm sending you love, light, and healing to get over this guilt that you may be feeling for what has happened. We know that the four of you are together and we know that you will all look after each other. And I really do hope that I've given your story justice. Love and light. And now the candle's gone quiet. Oh, it's flickering again. Be in peace. Love and light, Maddie.